What up YouTube? This is Officer Whitelaw and I'm back here with another amazing video. As you can see, we're up at the Kansas City Police Regional Academy. Today's important because today is gonna be a day that we're gonna have some new applicants come in for testing, which means Kansas City, Missouri Police Department is hiring. So if you wanna learn how to become a Kansas City, Missouri police officer, this is the video to watch. We're gonna outline the process from beginning to end. All right, but today's gonna be special because we're gonna follow around these new applicants, see a little bit of their process um, and what that looks like. So you kind of know what to expect. So you guys stay tuned. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. It's gonna be a good one. guys so check this out um trying to keep you guys in a loop here so i've got sergeant uh betty Yako, and he's responsible for um the hiring of all kansas city missouri police department officers all the way down to our janitorial staff so this is going to be the first person that you might come into contact here so y'all stay tuned he's going to give us a rundown of what we got going on here today at the academy good morning everybody Basically today is we're doing our, our police officer testing. So applicants are coming in. They'll be coming through these doors right here, going in. Um, they have registered already for the test. They've registered with our testing company, NTN. They'll come in, get signed in for the test, go upstairs, have a seat in room 303, and hopefully do well on the exam. Perfect. So y'all heard them. You got to do good on those tests, and then you might be able to throw on this uniform, come to the come and be uh, the Kansas City Police. So we look forward to having you all apply and we'll check you out in later parts of the video. So you see us here, we're getting people checked in. Right now we have our background investigator and CVSA analyst, um, Ms. Jenkins here, getting people checked in. So I'll let you talk to her for a second. Oh, uh, what you have going on here at the table? Good morning, the applicants that are coming in this morning have already pre-registered. So basically I'm verifying that they are on the list, checking their identification and verifying if they are um, running their physical test this afternoon or at another date. Okay, perfect, thank you. All right, so we walked upstairs and we're getting the new applicants kind of shuffled into the room where they're gonna be doing their testing. The written test is important because it's the first step in your application process. You fill out your application and then you'll have to come in and do your testing. Later on today, we'll see the applicants go from the written test downstairs where we'll do the PAT, which is the physical agility test. So I hope you guys stay tuned. If you wanna know how to become a Kansas City police officer, this is the way. Early 
All right, so I'm being real quiet here, but I think this is cool for y'all to see. So I'm gonna show you right now at the academy, there's all these cool pictures on the wall of all the classes before. So see if you recognize anybody here. Recognize anybody in this photo? How about now? So I'm here with Officer Hoffman and she is another one of the important people that you will run into during this process. Um, so we're gonna talk to her, get an idea of what's going on with the testing and maybe a little bit more details on what you can expect in this process. Officer Hoffman, how are you doing today? I'm doing well, thank you. Good, so um, as I was telling people, um, you do what for the department? Yep, so I'm a, the law enforcement applicant coordinator. So what I do is I um, go through all the applications that everybody submits and I get people scheduled for testing. I run the testing and then I schedule and kind of keep um, track of everyone, if you will. <laughs> so um, going back to testing, uh, what would that process look like for a new applicant? Yep, so if you are interested in testing, the first thing you need to do is go to careers.kcpd.org and fill out our substance abuse form and the application for employment. Once you complete your substance abuse form, it comes to myself or my partner, um, Officer Harrell, who's the other recruiter, and then we will reach out to you and get you scheduled for testing. Ooh. Yep. So as we, they're gonna see here in the video, um, we have some applicants in there taking the test uh, as we speak. So what does that look like? What are they going through in there? Yep, so it's a video-based testing. Um, so what that means is it's a, um, video scenarios. It's all multiple choice. There is no math. I get that question a lot. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's all video based, um, so they're going to show you the scenarios and then it's going to give you four choices of what you think is the best choice of action for the officer to do. So we understand that you haven't had the training, um, but we want to see um, your judgment and what you think about the situations and how you would react to yourself. Cool. Yep. So if there was anything that you think would important, be important for new applicants to understand and kind of put them at ease about the process, um, would you mind uh, you know, explaining that here? I think just um, just take one step at a time. It's about a nine to 10 step process. Um, it is very nerve wracking as I know it's something that you want, but everybody at the police department is on your side. Like we want you to be successful and we want you to be a part of KCPD. All right, so for all you that are still tuned into the video, check this out. Um, we're talking about you know the beginning process of what it's like to start here in the Kansas City Police Department. And a big part of that is your physical fitness. When you come to the academy, you're going to be working out. You're going to be running, doing push-ups. And so if you are interested, I encourage you to get that stuff started like right now. And whether it's doing five push-ups in between commercials, running, jogging, whatever. Because what you don't want to do is you don't want to show up here and not be ready for what's going on. So as a part of this video, I'm going to give you guys a quick tour of the workout facilities that you might be enjoying. So we are on the track and walking around. Like I said, this is really a great facility because we have everything here. We have an indoor track, which I'm currently on. We've got workout equipment. We've got a, um, up here, we've got a gym. We've got a basketball court. We've got an outdoor track. All right, so we have made it into our gym. So as you can see, we got a bunch of different kind of workout equipment, whatever floats your boat, we got it. We've got free weights, we got dumbbells. So 
you see me running around here trying to show you guys the police academy and I stumbled across some of our great academy cadets that are currently in the police academy right now. They're all here enjoying a good meal. Say what's up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so uh, maybe we talk to them for a second and you know, see what this is like. So anybody want to be on, uh, on camera here? What's your name? Um, Engine Officer Jacob Harrington. All right, so we got Harrington here. Uh, how's been your experience in the academy? It's been good. Uh, it's been been hard, a lot of learning, but it's been it's been fun and enjoyable so far. Yeah, you excited to get out and definitely become a police definitely officer? Definitely excited to become a police officer. All right, how uh, far along are you in the academy now? We're coming up on halfway, so we're getting there. Halfway, <laughs> right? What's that? Twelve weeks or? We're we're at week. 12 we'll be on week 12 next Coming week so Whew, man how much more how much longer you got to go 15 15 weeks sir so so they got 15 weeks so that's what you got to look forward to if you make it through the application process and you get all this stuff done and you come to the academy you got a total of how many weeks is that 27 weeks i'm not too good with math so <laughs> 27 weeks of the academy and you see these ladies and gentlemen in here and join the academy and we want you guys to be a part of this we want you guys to fulfill your dream if that's to become a police officer and join us here in the Kansas City Police Department. The option and the door is always open. So you guys continue to stay tuned. Remember to, you know it? Who knows it? Like, subscribe. Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> like, subscribe. Comment, like, and subscribe. So we appreciate you and we'll see you all later on. So, made it back to uh, the office, and I figured I'd give you guys a little bit of a rundown of the outcome of the physical testing. So, if you recall, hold on one second, I think I gotta, gotta see my drum. Hold on. It's looking good. So, we do the testing, everybody passes the physical agility portion, so that's good. Um, the written test portion is, it'll take some while, a little while for the um, testing center to process those and test all, uh, get all the scores back for those, but um, everybody found out, you know, today. So this isn't me telling you something that they don't know. Um, everybody found out today from the staff of, uh, of employment that they did pass um, that portion. I mean, that test is not easy. Um, you've got, uh, I think, three minutes and 30 seconds to make it through there. And it could be a test for some people. Um, so super excited for all those that came out and tested today. Um, I hope that each and every one of you are able to make it through the process so that you know you can get that that much closer to fulfilling your dreams of becoming a police officer and i hope that each and every one of you that have watched the video um learn something um hopefully this made this uh some parts of the process a little bit clearer for you um, so that you can kind of understand what you can expect um, when applying to the Kansas City Police Department. But if that be the case, uh, that you know you still have some questions, leave the comments below, um, or you can visit. I'll put that up here. 
um, you can visit kcpd.org and go to the career section and there you can get more information that's also where you would go to fill out your uh, application online so it doesn't matter where you're at whether you're here in Missouri or you're in Texas or you're in Florida or you're in Tennessee um, any of any place um, even if you're overseas you can start your process with applying to be a Kansas City Missouri police officer um, from wherever you are thanks to the internet um, so I hope you all have enjoyed the video I hope you all have learned something and um, if you would do me a huge favor um, to smash that like button working really hard here to give you all the content that you asked for um, and a little bit of stuff that I think that um, would be important to get out there so I appreciate you all for supporting me all of you who have been uh, watching the videos and from day one thank you so much uh, it means a lot um, all of your your wonderful comments um, and support of these videos just continues to energize me to keep going so with that being said we'll see you next time on the next one remember to like comment share and subscribe and we'll be back peace